Okay, so the next section is section 3.3 .3, and it involves the cell membrane. So the key concept, as you guys can see, is to remember that the cell membrane is a barrier that separates the cell from the external environment. So we talked about phospholipids a while back. We're going to come back to them now. So the cell membrane is composed of what we call two phospholipid layers. The cell membrane is going to regulate what enters and leaves the cell and provides protection and support. The composition of nearly all cell membranes is a double layered sheet called the lipid bilayer. As you can see here, here we go, there are two layers of lipids, hence the name bilayer. Here's one layer of lipids, here's the second layer of lipids. The lipid bilayer gives cell membranes a flexible structure that forms a strong barrier between the cell and its surroundings. The cell membrane is also going to control what comes in and out of the cell. So there are a bunch of other molecules embedded in the bilayer. In addition, Two lipids, most cell membranes contain protein molecules that are embedded in the lipid bilayer. Carbohydrate molecules, we heard of those before, are attached to many of these proteins. In fact, there are so many kinds of molecules in a cell membrane that scientists describe the membrane as a mosaic of different molecules. A mosaic is a work of art made of individual tiles or other pieces assembled to form a picture or design. As you can see, some of the proteins form channels that pump, um, that help to move, uh, channels and pumps, sorry, that help to move materials across the cell membrane. Many of the carbohydrates act like chemical identification cards in allowing individual cells to identify one another. So as you can see in this picture, we have cholesterol, we have some carbohydrate chains, we have proteins. So the cell is selectively permeable, which means it's going to allow some things in and some things don't get to come in. Depends on what exactly the quote-unquote thing is. The cell membrane regulates what enters and leaves the cell. Chemical signals are transmitted across the cell membrane. There's receptors that bind with ligands and chain shape, there are two types of receptors. There's intracellular receptors, which are found inside the cell, and then there's membrane receptors, which are found outside of the cell. So intracellular means inside the cell. Membrane receptors are found outside of the cell. And that is it. Thank you.